here I'm going to show you how to replace this feeder sensor I mean over here so first thing we need to do is take off the front cover and uh, actually I have already dismounted you can I mean there are three you need to uh, dismount the screw here and uh, here you need to make, uh, remove this screw to take off this plate and also for the cover you need to replace screw here and here to take this part off and then you will also need to remove this part and uh, screw tells you it's actually uh, down below you can see screw down below and also yeah never mind and also the screw there at the uh, back side so this part take it out to one so we also need to replace this part actually it's a screws over here here and also at the back side i actually have already taken it off so this part and be careful we have actually have a cable inside it and then uh, this back cover okay. from the back side you can see there are several screw, screw holes here after you remove the screw and also at the last time then you can take it off uh, also be careful about that cable and then here comes to the fitting part you just need to uh, remove the screw take this off and then actually inside inside here uh, because this motor actually is also high school you need to remove uh, the screws here and then okay when when this down you can see here actually have some cables uh, you will need to like uh, disconnect uh, uh, here from here disconnect this cable and then you can actually actually pull it out so uh, remember to use your both of your hand to pick it out and here this one it actually can be removed too so so after you get this device you need to take this part take this part off uh, this thing part it has two hooks here you just need to take it off and then you get the feeder uh, you can in our case I mean this time we, what we need to do is replace the sensor here uh, you can remove from the back side I mean, just uh, since I'm making the video so if sometimes you need to like replace this part inside you you can do this from the side I mean for the feeder feeder pole and if you need to like remove the spring here here we have a here we got a spring inside right if you need to remove this part it's also you also need to take this part and here we have two screws just uh, remove these two screws and then you can replace parts inside I mean unscrew it take it out the face that will be done so let's move to our part in order to easily remove this part you can also uh, remove two screw holes over here and on the opposite side so we will do it okay i want you to take this part off you can use one way screwdriver to uh, take it off actually it doesn't matter because since we are going to use it and then uh, it's, it's quite difficult to pull it out because this side is too large so you just need to disconnect that and then pull it off and that's it so, okay once you remove this part uh, here we can install this sensor back and we have a uh, screw hole here so it's easy to fix and uh, remember the there is a hole on the plate so the sensor should be installed out uh, here and then we get this uh this side needs to connect it back to the main board so actually it is you need to put it through from this hole and then that's all right there and you put it through this hole and then you just uh install the back fix the screw board okay you install this new sensor back what we need to do is connect this back and then just uh, put it back will be okay uh, you don't need to worry you don't need to worry about the position because actually you have these uh, screw holes for you to replace and uh, uh, as you might remember we have one connector here this is useless anymore you don't need it anymore and for this part we can put it uh, through here we gotta actually uh, hole here you can put it through and this part we needed to connect on the main board and that's it okay. in order to put this connect to the main board here we needed to uh, remove remove this switch power actually we have one screw over here you just need to remove this screw and then push it off and then for the main board 
the main board here we have we have long screws oops for the main board we have one screw here and one screw here so let's do that to take the uh, switch power and the main board we need to disconnect uh, this one this cable we need to disconnect this one and uh, this one we will put these three cables back in okay so what we need to do is connect the remember the three cable connect the blue in middle blue in middle and yellow in the third socket the first one doesn't need it and the power white cable you need to connect the i mean the red one you need to connect with this one to put two red in the same socket and after that you to put the board back power into just connect this back you need to connect the power cable power on and check the Check the LCD. You can see here we have a blank, I mean blank circle. And here you need to put anything to block the uh, the sensor. Put the uh, block sensor, and you will see it become black color. This means it's okay. And now what you need to do is put everything back.